For many people, Walmart might seem more like a retail giant instead of an e-commerce company. But don't be fooled, Walmart has been working hard to compete with Amazon in the modern era of e-commerce. They have even offered a new service to combat Amazon Prime shipping with one day free shipping on orders over $35. Walmart's online inventory has grown massively over the last few years as a result. Therefore, there is a lot of value that can be unlocked from having access to their inventory data. What if you could easily download data for a variety of products from Walmart's site into a spreadsheet? Web scraping is the answer. A web scraper will allow us to choose any product category from Walmart's website and extract the information from these products into a more useful format. In this example, we will be using Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper. We will then set it up to extract product details from Walmart's results page for tablets. First, make sure to download and install Parsub for free. Once installed, boot it up and log in. Then, click on New Projects and enter the URL for the results page you'd like to scrape. In this case, we will scrape Walmart's results page for the term tablet. Once you've submitted the URL, the page will render inside the app, ready to select the first element in the list. To start, click on the name of the first item in the list. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. You will notice that the next couple of listings on the page will be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second product in the list to select them all. They will all now be highlighted in green. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to product. Parsub is now pulling the product's names and listing URLs. In the left sidebar, use the plus sign next to the product selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the title of one of the listings and then on the price next to it. An arrow will appear to show the association. You might need to press Ctrl-1 while hovering over the listing's price to select the full price amount. Rename your selection to price. Repeat these steps to also scrape the product's number of reviews. Lastly, delete the extract URL command below it. Now you might want to pull even more information than what is presented on the search results page such as the Walmart product number and other details. In order to do this, we will make Parsub click on every listing result to scrape more information about each listing. First, click on the plus sign next to the product selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if your selection is the next page button. Click no and select create new template. Name your template product page and click on create new template. The first product page in the list will open in Parsub with a new select command. Click on the first piece of information you're interested in scraping. In this case, we'll select the Walmart product number. Rename your selection to number. Now click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Use it to select the product image. You will have to hit Control 2 on your keyboard to zoom in and select the element with the image URL in it. Rename your selection to image. If you also want to download these images to your device, you can easily do so by checking out our guide on how to scrape and download images from any website. Just click on this card. After you've selected any additional data you wanted to scrape from the product page, we can go back and set up Parsub to scrape several search results pages. In the left sidebar, click on Main Template to return to the template we originally worked on. Next, click on the plus sign next to the page selection and use the select command. Using this new select command, click on the next page link at the bottom of the search results page and rename your selection to next. Expand your next selection and remove its extract command. Using the plus sign beside the next selection, add a click command. A pop-up will appear asking if your selection is a next page button. Click yes and enter the number of times you'd like Parsehub to repeat this process. In this case, we will repeat four more times. Once you have fully set up your project, use the get data button in the left sidebar to run your scrape job. For larger and more complex projects, we recommend running a test run first to ensure that your data will be extracted correctly. Once your scrape job is completed, you will be able to download the data you've selected as a convenient spreadsheet. You can now use these steps to scrape data from any product category or search term on Walmart's website. If you run into any issues while using Parsub, feel free to reach out to us at hello at parsub.com. And as always, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.